Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and here I am actually recording the video that was supposed to be in the last video, uh, upload. Somebody had pointed this out to me, and I'm surprised I didn't notice that my video was cut short. Um, you guys got to never really see the actual dungeon and what to do with any of that. So, you saw how to get to the dungeon, so that's the first half. Congratulations, Chuck, you are amazing. So, now that we're actually at the dungeon and I can record the dungeon itself, we are here. And we're going to go in and I'll show you how to do it. So please watch that other video before you come watch this video. Alright, so we're here. We made it inside the dungeon. And it's pretty simple. When you're in the dungeon, there's going to be three chests. And there's going to be a few enemies. You must defeat the enemies before you can open the chests. You walk through and you click on them. And you will engage in battle with them. Bring weapons like throwing torches, explosives and such to do damage to them and they will take damage and die. Now, don't know exactly how many enemies there will be in every in every level, it changes a bit. But once you defeat all the enemies, then you can go around and open the chests and get the items that you can find in them. The items will be good and bad. Sometimes the chests will be traps and they'll hurt you, but nothing to be concerned over. So there was two chests, and I believe there's a third chest over here. So real, it's just a square room, so you shouldn't get lost in here. Um, but if you do get up getting lost, orient yourself by going back to the entrance to find out where you are. And then, once you get all the chests unlocked, you're going to go to the back left corner of the room. And you're going to click this question mark, question mark, question mark rock, and say proceed further. And you just defeated the first uh, floor. Now we move through, and we will fight the new enemies in the next floor. Okay. Battle him. Let's see if we can beat him quick enough. I use these torches and explosives to do more damage. And it slowly cools down. Okay, he's done. Might not need to use torches on this guy if I can beat him quickly enough. Come on. Okay, good. Now these guys can sometimes do heals and stuff to themselves but all right we did the damage we unlocked everything we got a lot of stuff for plundering all right now we look for those chests i was talking about found some items in that chest there's another chest right over here found some items in that chest and you're gonna get a mixture of things so far it looks like i'm getting sculptures and statues there it is stone so that's it we got these items from it 16 wine from plundering some of the guys two letter war bronze sculptures stone sculptures and stone and then we're going to go back to the middle of the room here you'll see that same kind of rock and you'll say you're finished and you've completed the quest now the first time that you've done this you'll probably get a, a reward for it and you should get ESBTs if you've beaten the uh, floor. I don't know how often you get them, but you should get ESBTs, which are expedition ship tickets. I'm pretty sure I beat it. Do I need to go back? It's just weird, because normally when you defeat the thing, the thing it tells you that you defeated, defeated it. <laughs> So, maybe we're going to go back and look. I'm probably just going to read. You're probably just going to have me redo it. Yeah, okay. Let's just have me redo it. You normally get like a completion. Uh. 
Justification saying, congratulations, completion. Yeah, completed the ruin exploration. Alright, so, you did get it. You get it at the end when you beat him. But, well, see, now I have a second guy on this floor. Before there was not. So, you get a different variation of how these quests go. I could use the ointments if I need to heal, but I don't typically have to. I'll probably have a more successful time battling here if I used a better sword, but... Okay. I finished that floor. And you could do the quest over and do the whole thing over and over and over again. And that's what some people do. They do them over and over and over again so as to get ESBTs. Yeah, I did get an ESBT. I must have missed it. I must have missed a reward. Um, and just to get the ESBTs and sell them, because they're worth somewhere between, uh, from what someone's told me, 200 to 500,000 um, ducats. So, it doesn't hurt to do them. You won't make huge amounts of money doing this, but if you're trying to grind some of your sword fighting skills and things, this is a good way to do that. So, unlocked all three chests. Go back to the rock, say proceed further, and go to the next floor. So you guys get the idea. This is pretty straightforward on how to do this. Let's go right to the level 10 guy. He's over here. Easy beat. Wings. Total evasion. Never knew what that did before. For sure. Now let's equip it to my battle. So, yeah, we got another ESPT. Treasure chest was empty. That's the first time. For me in a while, at least. So sometimes you can see good stuff. I don't know that's good stuff. Oh, they got a PO. Bridge sorters are nice. Two of them. Not bad. So, got some good stuff. So I just got a PO. For alcohols, dyes, minerals, wares, and luxury goods. You sell those too. So you, you get good stuff. So there you are, guys. That's how you do the quest or do the uh, dungeon. You can get a quest, I believe, to do stuff in here. I'm not sure exactly, but there's this is the Syracuse dungeon, and all the dungeons function almost identical to it. Um, there's some nuances differently for each. This is the only one that I've really ever done. You know, there's another one in Bordeaux and few other places but this is this is the one I do if I'm trying to grind some ESBTs which people will pay for if you want to sell them so also you can just come right to here and you can go ahead and sell all the things that you get from there and make a little bit of a profit you know a couple hundred thousand easy enough and you could if you have other items too you could go ahead and sell them at the bazaar but there you have it. Now you actually have the video to go with the other video that was supposed to be dungeoning in Syracuse. So I will put this up as part two of that of that episode uh, on YouTube. And thanks again for watching, everyone. It's been great. Thanks for watching. It's Chuck Thunder.